demonstrate some of the new capability for creating turn features added at EdgeCam 2014 R2. Looking in from a turn perspective, notice that this part's machined from a casting. And so for finished machining requirements, we're going to need to machine remove material from the front face and shoulder of this part in a turning center. The Features ribbon provides access to EdgeCam's Feature Finder command, which is a great command and it will generate many of the turn cross sections as well as milled hulls quickly for us. However, many users with turning centers also have situations where it's desirable to create our own features ourselves using something like the turn profile command. So this interactive feature recognition tool has always provided ability to create turn features using faces. So if I create one for the groove area and I'll label this groove and press OK, I can go and select individual faces that make up the park. So this is long-standing capability that EdgeCam's always had. And in order to use this feature recognition command, you simply need to choose the individual faces that make up the feature and off you go. However, for some complicated parts, which may have many fillets, chamfers, or face details along the shape, that could be an extremely lengthy process to create, and the new ability gives us the profile turn option. Notice that we have options to extend the turn feature. When we press OK, the prompt is to select the body for manual turn, so we'll select the finished part as the solid to find the turn feature from. And the first thing that EdgeCam does is it displays a cross-section of the entire turn feature of the part. It's important to note that that turn cross-section is accurate to the revolved shape of the part, so that is our true minimum turn cross-section. The readout line asks us to select the start and end points, and so we'll go and zoom in, and I'll left-click on the chamfer as my starting point, and then I'll go click on the back shoulder here as my final point, and we can from here toggle to the other end of the feature with the left button to have the feature represent a different collection of material or keep the one we have here. That looks great, so we'll go ahead and finish and that quickly creates a turn feature for us that represents the entire cross section of that area. That's immediately machinable using EdgeCam's manual feature creation tools where users can select the tool they wish to use and then build the appropriate turning cycle. For users interested in the more automatic approach of using the machining strategies and process intelligence, we can take this turn feature and add some information using the properties window. So with the properties window on, with this feature, we can add to it that its direction is a front feature and its location is as a turn feature. And with just that little bit of additional information saved into the part, when I go to manufacture mode, we now have ability to use planning board. Planning board promptly suggests machining strategies for this, and I can apply the tool path to quickly create the outline of the turning. And the user would at this point ensure that it did pick the tool you intend to use, and that the feed rates and spindle speeds in the rough turning cycle are correct. I want to point out here, as you look at the part, that the turning shape is correct the turning tool path is correct to the part we're working on. We can also simulate this and see a prediction of the material removal. As we play and see the turret move into position, we not only see the out-of-station tools with Edge Cam's machine simulation, but we also see how this tool removes the material from that part to give us a great prediction of what the CNC code is going to do when we send it to the CNC machine. We can see the tools allowed to go into the back angle of this, and if we want to eliminate that, then we could edit the rough turn cycle, and we could tell it on the cut strategies that it is not permitted to dive into undercut regions. And so now our tool path heads straight across that groove area as if it does not exist, just like it would be able to do with a feature created using the more traditional feature find command that a user might be familiar with. So in summary, the new turn feature command gives ability to select profiles where you can select the start and end point of any place along the turn profile or turn cross section of the part, as well as create features using the face option that we've had for many years. 
Once those turn features are created in order to leverage the machining strategies, you'll want to use the planning board and to add into there the direction. Is it a front or a back turn feature? And the location, is it turn, bore, or face? With these two pieces of information, you'll be able to quickly create manual features on your part when that makes sense. You'll be able to use Feature Finder when that makes sense. And when you create manual features, you'll be able to preload them for use with EdgeCam's planning board and the machining strategies that ship with the software.